which leads to the third great metaphor, uh, I mean, Newton's work does, and that is the metaphor of the laws of nature, the idea that nature is a lawful realm. And a great historian of science, Edward Zilsel, who's investigated the, kind of the origin of this use of this term, has shown that applying the idea of the laws of nature to nature was unique to the period of the scientific revolution, and he says it was a juridical metaphor, a legal metaphor of theological origin. It implied that the order of nature was the product of God's constant sustaining power, as it says in scripture. And Newton very much believed this, and believed that the lawful regularities that he described with mathematics, which were a product of God's, as one of my Cambridge supervisors put it, constant spirit action. It's God holding the universe together, and that explains the, the regularities that we see around us. Yeah, also the fact is, tell the folks that when Newton came out with this, it was mind-blowing even to the Christians that had these presuppositions because they had never thought about the fact of why is the moon up there and why does it control the tides? Oh, this was the, his the, the mysterious aspect of Newton's theory was right. called action at a distance. Because nobody could see what, these, what was holding it in. The scientists at the time thought the best types of explanations involved mechanical pushing and pulling. That was the clock metaphor. But Newton slightly broke with that because he described the gravitational attraction between the moon and the earth and other planetary bodies and the earth and the sun, but there was no pushing and pulling. The, the force of gravity was transmitted through a distance with no mechanical action intervening in between. There was no, the earth doesn't push the moon or vice versa, but the force is transmitted through empty space. So how does that happen? And this was greatly mysterious. Newton publicly said, uh, hypothesis non fingo in the Latin, which is to say, I, I don't feign to know the cause. But privately, he acknowledged that what he thought was that, that this action at a distance was actually a manifestation, not of a material cause, but of an immaterial cause, that is the Spirit of God holding the universe together by the word of His power, as it says in the New Testament. 